Hi there, this is Ed Herzog with edherzog.com, and today I want to show you the different color correction options that you have with the Movavi Video Editor. So let's have the computer and see what you can do in terms of color correction. So here I am in the Movavi Video Editor, and let me say up front that with the Movavi Video Editor, you have a lot of different options, a lot of different choices for correcting the color on your video. And obviously, the way you need to correct the color for your particular video is going to be different than what I might need for my video. So I'm just gonna show you a general overview of each of the options, and obviously it's up to you to decide what you need to do for your video. So as you can see, I already have this video here, which is just a free video that I found on a website called Mixkit. I already have it loaded into the Movavi video editor, and I've already put it down here on the timeline. So let's go ahead and see what we can do in terms of correcting the color for this video. So one way to do that is with this button right here. So if I click on that, you see all these different filters. Now, not all of them are color correction filters, but some of them are, particularly the ones that come under artistic color filters and then retro. So let's take a look here first at artistic. So if I click on that, you see there are some here like color mix blue, color mix green. If I scroll down, there are others half tone blue, half tone white, etc. And all you have to do, it's very simple, is just pick one of these and drag it down over there. And once you see that plus sign, right there you see the negative, the no, no go sign. But once you see that plus sign, then you just drop it on there and you see right up here, that the color changed to match what is right there. Now, one thing here with these filters, if I double, if I click on that, double click on it, you see, first of all, if I wanna get rid of that filter, I can just click right there on the X, but I can also change the intensity of that filter. If I like that particular filter and like how it corrected the colors for that video, for my video, I can also lessen the intensity. Maybe I like it in general, but don't like it quite so strong. So I can just drag this down here and you see it lessens the intensity of that particular filter. So it's a nice little tool they have there within the Movavi Video Editor. So, you know, again, choose a filter and then adjust the intensity of that filter. So let me go ahead and take that off of here and come back to the filters. And again, as I said, you have color filters here. These are named after various famous artists. So Gauguin, Monet, Monet, etc., Picasso. And then, as I said, some here under retro. So you see here different kind of movie styles that also change the color of your video within the Movavi video editor. Now, one interesting thing that I found while playing around with this is that in some situations you can combine and have multiple filters and others you can't. For example, with these color filters, you cannot have more than one of these on the same video. So, you know, if there's a particular artist you like, you know, you like their style, you can use, say, for example, Picasso, drop that on there, and now you have this kind of Picasso lighting. But if you decide, no, you know what, what I really like is Renoir, and you drop Renoir on there, we come over here, you see it just has a Renoir. It doesn't, it doesn't combine the two filters. So there's no way, at least with those, with those color filters, to combine them. With some of the other filters, you can have more than one of them at the same time. So you can kind of play around with them and see which ones you can, uh, can dup or not duplicate, but have at the same time on your video if you wanna apply more than one filter. So let me go ahead and take this off of here. And then the next main way to color correct your videos in the Movavi Video Editor is right here with this button. So if I click on that, you see under video editing, then here you have color adjustments. And I click on that, and you see that I have uh, both easy ones as well as advanced ones. So these easy ones, you have up here auto contrast, auto saturation, auto white balance, magic enhance. And then down here you have some that are kind of like those filters that we already looked at, drama, dreamy, film noir, etc. Now with these here, these four right here, again, you just pull one and wait for it to change that plus sign and then you drop it on top of that. These here, you can have all four on your video at the same time. Of course, you don't have to. If you just like one of them, you can just drop one of them on there. With these here, again, they're kind of like those color filters we looked at. You can only have one of these at a time, but you can have these, for example, along with these here or one of these here or these here with those color filters we looked at. So, you know, again, you're gonna have to kind of play around and decide what sort of color correction you want or need to do on your video, but you can combine things here. So again, I can drop in auto saturation, I can drop, drop in uh, auto white balance, and let's say I want dreamy, so I'll drop that in there. 
And then if I come and look here, you can see that they're all applied effects on that particular video. Uh, so, you know, again, you can, there are some situations where you can combine different color correction effects. There are others where, for whatever reason, within the Movavi video editor, you cannot combine things. Now, the one thing to note here is these are different than the filters that we looked like because here, or the filters that we looked at, because here you don't have that option to decrease the intensity. You know, you drop it on there and it is what it is. So, uh, you know, it's not like the filters where you have that 100% and you've got the slider and you can slide it down. No, you either have it or you don't have it applied to your video. So let me go ahead and take these off real quick and come back here. So here you have the different advanced effects. And these are obviously ones where you choose by yourself. It's not uh, something that you just drag and drop on top of the video. You have to choose the individual settings yourself and decide what you do or do not like. Now with the white balance, what you have to do with this is you click on that and then you choose a spot that kind of reflects the white balance that you want to see for the rest of the video. So if you want to see, let's say, you know, it's kind of white there. This probably isn't going to have a big effect because there isn't any really strong white, but yeah, actually that worked pretty well. So you see that once I clicked on that, I selected that as the white balance I wanted for the rest of the video and then applied it throughout this whole screen there. Uh, and then these here, you know, are just, you slide them however you want. That's a little too bright, you know, uh, if you want it darker like that, obviously change contrast. Again, these are all very easy to use. Just slide them as you want. But again, you'll have to play around with it. As you're seeing here, there are a lot of options. And I believe, let me just double check. I believe these can uh, combine with some of these easy effects here. So drop on Dreamy and just check here. Yeah, so you see here that we've got the Dreamy. We have that white balance that I put on and then those manual adjustments that I made uh, over in this tab right here, right here. So there you can combine some of these advanced ones with some of these more easy ones and really kind of tweak the color to look the way you want to look for your video. One other thing real quick, and I forgot to mention this when I first recorded the video, so I'm adding this in after the fact. With the advanced settings, you can save your settings and use them in the future for other videos. So let's just say I want to change the brightness to there and the contrast to here and the highlights right there. And you know, that looks horrible, but let's say I like those settings and I want to have those available in the future within the Movavi video editor. You see right here, you have this save button. So I'll click on that and I'll give this a name. Uh, Ed's color changes and I'll click on okay. And then you see that comes right here under the easy and then I can, use this and drop that down right there for uh, in the future. And if I close out of the Movavi video editor and reopen it, this will be right there to use for the future. It's gonna be really useful if you record yourself and say you always have very similar lighting on yourself. You know, there may be a certain set of settings from here, from the advanced ones, changes that you make that can be useful every time that you record yourself. So just wanna show that feature uh, and add this into the video because it is an important feature to know about. So those are your various options for correcting color using the Movavi video editor. If you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to help you as best as I can. Also, if you found value in this video, make sure to hit the like button. That way I know that I'm providing content that is valuable to you. So that's all. I hope to see you next time and I hope you have a great day. Bye.